Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee and I live aboard my 57 foot narrowboat Sleeve Namon. This year I've been cruising the English waterways as well as doing up my boat, so join me for a new video every Monday. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram and yeah, let's get into the vlog. Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. So in this video I thought I would show you kind of what an afternoon looks like when I'm not cruising. Um, so I need to do a tidy up of the boat and then I'm really excited to show you the progress that I've made so far on the saloon in the boat. I've put a lot of effort and time into it um, and I feel like I've really modernised the space and made it much more um, just much more nicer I guess. Um, I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. It's not finished yet and I've got a few bits to still finish which I'll point out to you and show you as we go along. But yeah I'm excited to show you where I'm at. I've put a lot of work into getting the boat how I want it and um, it's definitely starting to get there now. Apologies for the noise in the background, I've got the washing machine running. I've got enough solar coming in today to run the washing machine which is really exciting. So yeah, let's get into it. I'll start off in the galley and then we'll work our way through giving the boat a tidy up and then I'll show you the, the tour of where I'm at so far. So I've just realised I've just washed all the dishes and didn't press record. So I was chatting away to nobody. Um, so what I was saying was that at the moment I only get hot water for doing dishes and showering from running the engine. So I hope to be able to um, get central heating fitted to the boat, hopefully over winter, um, because that will give me the option to just press the button like I had on my previous boat to get some hot water. So it just saves running the engine um, as much and saves the engine hours so yeah that's what I plan to do so I've run the washing machine this morning on the solar power and I'm still at 13.2 so the solar has actually ran the washing machine and is still charging up the batteries so I'm really pleased with that another boat going past. So many boats that go past just don't slow down. It's crazy. That one was a higher boat but it's not just higher boats. A lot of the time it's non-higher boats that go racing past. I actually had one that went past at 10 past 3 the other morning. It was so random. So I bought these stainless steel wipes and I found that they're really good for cleaning the coffee machine. I was struggling to make it like shine and not have like streaks all over it. So these um, stainless steel wipes work really well. They also work really well for the door handles. And for the oven as well. Anything that's stainless steel really. I know I'm using the same white but I did clean the coffee machine with a cloth first so I'm really just polishing it. The same with the sink. So that's the galley all cleaned up nice and tidy. Excuse the clutter in that corner because I haven't finished that one off yet. Coffee machine's cleaned, cooktop's clean. Nice. So for the next thing for me to do is to dust this unit. So I made a mistake when I painted this unit because I didn't put like a varnish or a seal or anything on it. So it's kind of all chipped off. So I'm not going to repaint that today. I'm just going to dust it all and then clean it, at, uh, repaint it at another time. So when you live on a narrowboat and you use 
a multi-fuel stove as your main source of heating, you get a lot of dust. So this is an ongoing job. These are my little china dolls. If you don't know, I used to live in China. I lived there for two years and I bought these when I was out there. In fact, I can't remember if I bought them or if I was given them, but yeah, I think they're really cute. So they're supposed to be good luck, these dolls are, or these little things, and they have to be positioned in a certain way. So the female one always sits slightly in front of the male one. Don't know why, but that's just how it is. Another thing that you probably know about me if you've been following along for a while is I like to read. So this year I haven't actually read that many books because I haven't been well and it's just been a super busy year. Um, but yeah, usually I read a book a month, so next year I'm going to get back to that. So these books, if you're not familiar with um, Canal Navigation, these books are how we know where we're going. So well, obviously that's not that's a brochure for the toilet. But yeah, there's we use these Nicholson guides. So it's guides one, two, seven. So they cover the whole of the English um, and Welsh navigation. So these are really good. This box I'm going to cut down because at the moment, since I, uh, my partner and I built this dinette extension out, it doesn't open properly. So I'm going to cut this down. I might even get rid of it altogether, um, but it's really useful for storage. One of the things I found from my last boat to this boat is it's so nice having like little storage compartments and things where you could have books out and be able to access things a lot easier because previously I stored a lot of things under the bed. So it is handy having these things, but yeah, sometimes it's just not possible to fit everything in. So I'm going to dust these shelves and then show you what's behind me. I use these radios um, when we are cruising with Andrew. Um, these are the Cobra waterproof ones, um, or the floaty ones. So if you drop it in the canal, like I have done previously, it floats to the top. So I would highly recommend these if you are looking for radios. It's really helpful, especially when you're doing narrow parts of the canal, to be able to talk to each other. So yeah, I recommend those. And these, I was going to show you, I bought these little um, fleeces for the dogs just because um, Coco gets cold with being short haired and Hugo gets really dirty in the winter on the canals. So these are made by a company called Equifleece. I haven't tried them on yet, maybe we'll do that in this vlog. Um, but yeah, they're like a waterproof kind of fleece material and it will hopefully help to keep them clean and warm and dry. So yeah, I think they're quite good quality. I've seen quite a few dogs um, having them on. So we'll see how this goes. So this is how the dinette looks at the moment. So it's sitting on a little platform here to raise the table up so that we can get in and out. The table itself is sort of like a test piece um, to check out for sizing. So the table is, it overhangs quite a bit on this side. Um, so when you're walking past, it makes the corridor quite narrow. So I'm going to cut that back by an inch. Well, I'm actually going to get a new piece of table, like a new tabletop, um, so that it will be in line with the dinette then. Um, so the cushions I managed to get from... Actually, somebody on Facebook Marketplace was selling them. They're for a caravan. Um, but the important thing is that they've got springs in. So it helps to keep the shape, because if you just have foam, then the um, they sink down when you sit on them. So I'm happy with how they look. They're obviously not secured at the moment. Um, so behind here, I'm going to put in a storage shelf. So I did have Velcro here, but that, that didn't really work out either. So we can store some extra stuff behind there. Um, but this one actually comes off fully and then along there makes a single bed. So the boat can sleep five now, which is quite good. So that's how the dinette looks at the moment. So as you can see here, there's no edging. Um, so we want to get some nice stained wood to make like a nice end. I think that will finish it off a bit better. And under there is where the dogs are sleeping. 
so they've got a nice amount of space and some good head height so that's where they are but you can see on this piece of wood where they walk across it's so dirty with their paw prints so I'm thinking of carpeting along here and also finishing off some wood around there and um, just to give it like a nice finished off look one of the things I love about the new dinette design is that when you're sitting at the dinette you can see the water on one side and you can also see outside of the duck hatch so you're much higher up which I absolutely love so another thing that I've added in here is these pictures so I bought these pictures of Amazon they were really cheap for the prints um, and then I just bought black frames and I think it makes the place feel really modern and nice I also painted the radiators white um, because they kind of look like a yellow kind of stained colour so I'm happy with how they look so that's that wall and this is the couch so I think you've, you will have seen this in previous vlogs but it's a rock and roll bed from um, the sofa bed barn so it's got this throw on it at the moment for the dogs but this is the colour that it is so it's like a dark grey colour um, and under here there's like a pull out drawer so it's really useful for storing bedding so I'm really pleased with the sofa so it all kind of fits in really nice with the pictures so here I've got my ukulele hanging I'm still in the process of learning the ukulele but I do enjoy playing it and I also have this other picture which I'm not sure I like that much and I'm not sure it's going to be staying um, but it fits in quite nice I also put the brass bars up around here like I had on Grayswood because it's really useful for hanging towels and extra drying space for drying clothes so I'm undecided whether or not to paint this wooden surround black somebody commented on it suggesting that I did that and it would make this area look a bit more finished so I am seriously thinking about that but what do you guys think the only reason I haven't done it is because all the skirting boards along here are also this same brown color so I'm worried that if I paint that it won't really look right so let me know in the comments below what you think so that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed seeing the changes that I've made and I hope you like the changes that I've made I'm really pleased with how the boat's coming together like I said at the beginning it's been a lot of hard work um, to get it to this point and I'm not as far forward on certain jobs like the outside as I would like to be just because of the situation with having Covid um, so I'm hoping to make up some time over the next couple of months and try and get as much done as I can but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this vlog thanks again for to everyone for your support and for your comments and for liking my videos and following along if you are new here or if you haven't yet subscribed I would really appreciate it if you did I'm so close to hitting the goal um, of 5,000 subscribers um, and hopefully by the time this video goes out I will have reached that goal but yeah thank you so much for your support it means a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one bye